Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Thank you for stopping by and visiting my channel. My name is Michael Mattiazzi. I am a strength and conditioning coach outside here in Toronto, Canada. Today, I'm hoping to bring you a little bit of insight with my video on the slingshot curve of success. Do you ever feel like you guys are kind of out of point, whether it's a hobby or within your career, or whatever it is you love to do, where like you kind of feel like you're at like a little bit of a plateau that you can't go any further, you're not feeling any progress, well then, this video is for you. I really hope it brings you some insight today. So this concept I've created, it's what I call the slingshot curve to success. What I basically mean by that is you all start off at ground zero with everything you do, whether it's a hobby, a career, your schooling, whatever it is you want to do. You guys all know that point where you started, where you would like, whether you, you first started skating, first started dribbling a basketball, first started dribbling a soccer ball, could even be you start learning how to type, anything. Very first thing you do. Now what I want you to do is think back to that point and compare yourself from then when you started to now and look at yourself look how far you've come what have you accomplished what big moments have you had within your success that you can think hmm you know what I really enjoyed that moment I love this I love that I loved when I won that championship I loved that moment when I was up on the stage doing that I love that moment when I created that piece of art that was the best thing I've ever done I felt so good I was so happy to have accomplished that now that you've kind of given yourself a little bit of time to think about that, I want you to also reflect back and you can pause the video for this and kind of give yourself some time to think whether you want to write it down, kind of give yourself a little bit of reflection time on this one. What kind of moments within your progress have you had really big struggles? You know, maybe you lost a championship. Maybe you had a severe injury in your progress as an athlete. Maybe people weren't noticing your art. You kind of were finding it very hard to break through with your script writing. Could be any Anything. It doesn't have to be related to sport. It doesn't have to be related to art. It could even be related to your career. Think about those moments that kind of made you feel like you were having a little bit of a setback. Now that you've taken a little bit of time to kind of reflect on those moments that were considered struggles, something that kind of set you back, I want you to think now, after those periods occurred, did you have anything that allowed you to reflect and kind of shoot you a little bit forward, allowing you to kind of grow and prosper within whatever it is you like to do? If it taught you any valuable lessons, write them down. Maybe sometimes you just need a little bit of time to reflect and think about these things. I know every time I look back at certain events that happen in my life, when they first occur, I have no idea what they're trying to teach me. I like to tell myself that everything happens for a reason. Sometimes the reason is just not very noticeable right away. Sometimes we do need a little bit of time to pass. And after a little bit of time's passed, the lesson gets learned along the way. Think back even a little bit deeper. Was there something like a certain instance that helped you realize, you know what, I can turn this around. I'm going to shoot myself forward. If so, write that down. What is it that helped you shoot forward? Was it something that someone had said to you? Was it something in your personal life that helped you come to an ultimate realization? It could be anything. These are like little day by day things that occur that you don't even ask for. They come at random moments when we're not even looking for them. They just occur. Now that we kind of have this little database of past experiences within our hobbies, now you can kind of visualize a little bit of a map to see your progress and see, you know what, that moment right there, I am so happy. I prevailed and I persisted and I was able to advance further beyond that moment. I'm so happy I didn't quit. I am so happy I didn't give up. Aren't you grateful that you didn't? Basically what I'm trying to say, these are moments where we just need to be a little bit more patient. Time is just asking us to reflect on ourselves, to stay calm, to focus on our well-being. We may seem to feel like we're in a moment of regression, but little do we know we're about to hit a slingshot that slings us forward onto another trajectory. Basically our grand progress is really hard to see from an overall perspective. With consistency and persistence, you will be able to notice good days, and obviously along the way there's going to be some bad days. But honestly, what what I'm trying to say with this video is you're always farther ahead than when you started. So the slingshot curve of success, basically what I've created here is a progress time graph. So you can see here, this is where you've started off. This is where you're starting off with your hobby, your job, whatever it is you work on. Now that you've even reflected, you've taken a little bit of time to reflect on this. You can see like from the point you started, you're practicing every day, you're practicing every day, you're advancing, you're advancing. Oh, here's a little bit of a setback. Maybe you lost a championship. Maybe you had a little bit of an injury. Then there's a moment that kind of shoots you forward. You heal, you recover. Someone says something very motiv motivational to you. Now you're progressing forward again. You don't give up. 
and now you have another little bit of regression oh wait another one of those moments happened now you're projecting forward and it's all because you did not quit now here's the thing about the curve this is what happens if you quit here's the curve i've shown you you start your starting point you're advancing regressing advancing regressing advancing regressing when you quit you purposely miss your next trajectory you fall off the graph you completely give up on everything you've accomplished this far. Basically, what the curve is asking you to do is just stay patient. There's no telling where the decline is gonna stop and when the trampoline will come and sling you forward. There's no telling, you just have to stay patient. You just have to advance. You've done it before, you know the answer. You just have to push through and stay persistent. I promise you, it's on its way. Just be patient. I promise you, something is coming on its way, whether it's something you read, something you hear, something that inspires you internally or externally. It could be even a change of view. It is on its way to sling you forward. Do not worry, you're not going to regress forever, I promise you. So I will give you a real life example from myself. Now, this probably won't relate to everybody, but as I mentioned, I am a strength and conditioning coach. So recently, I traveled to Italy shortly after I became a strength and conditioning coach, which was this year in 2019. Before I became a strength and conditioning coach, I have been in my own workout routine now for four years. I've really been enjoying it. It's really helped me with my confidence, and it's really helped me physically progress. I've exponentially improved in every way through my workout program. But what I noticed around the time I left to go to Italy, I kind of lost my motivation in working out. Once I became a strength coach, once I achieved that goal, I sort of lost my own motivation to stay physically active. I was still doing my workout, but I just kind of felt like there was no purpose to doing it. Like it wasn't really satisfying me as much anymore. Another reason I lost my motivation is because I felt like I was plateauing strength-wise. I didn't feel like I was getting much stronger. My power workouts weren't the same. I felt like my personal records were kind of coming to a plateau. Although I did keep loyal to my routine, I did continue to progress through it and do it Monday to Friday, like I had done before I actually went to Italy and before I became a strength coach. After all, it is what I did in order to learn the workout routine so that I can teach it to other people. And what I actually noticed is my motivation sort of slowly started to come back. So when I came back from Italy, I started focusing on other things. I wasn't even really focusing on my strength. I was focusing on little imbalances I had in my body, like my mobility, my flexibility, kind of those little things. I was working on the foundation. Oddly enough, when I actually went back to working on my strength, I started to notice a little bit of gains. My first week, back into the strength program, I remember deadlifting 285 pounds. Felt like I had given every fiber of my being to lift this weight. Then my coworker, who's also actually my coach, he makes my programs for me, said, you know what, Mike? Sometimes you just have to really try and give it your all. Sometimes this is what the program involves. You just have to push that little further. Sometimes you can't say no, you just have to do it. This is my most recent slingshot that kind of shot me forward. This little, phrase of motivation pushed me forward to keep going. The next week when I was doing my deadlifts, oddly, I lifted 295 pounds. I progressed myself further with a little bit of fear. I have to say I was a little bit hesitant on this, but strangely that 295 pounds felt a lot easier than 285 pounds the week before. Then two weeks after that, I lifted 315 pounds for four reps. Before, I was doing 315 for one rep back in March 2019. Then in October 2019, I'm doing it for four reps. This basically proved to myself that I was getting stronger the whole time. I was focusing on improving my foundation just by doing the workouts Monday to Friday, not giving up on myself. Even though I didn't feel like it, even though I kind of lost my motivation, I kind of felt like I was plateauing, I grinded through it, I stayed consistent. The results eventually showed themselves. My coworkers' words of encouragement allowed me to kind of project it out of myself forward, and I was able to do it. If I put this on like a grand scale of things, lifting 315 pounds for four reps, and I know like for some people who lift a lot of weight, that may mean nothing. But for me, that is so much more further than where I started, which was probably like 135 pounds four years ago. So that's an example of a lesson I learned personally from my, my own experiences that I wanted to share with you just to kind of help you out with it. 
just to kind of help you out with what I'm trying to explain. The beauty about staying persistent and grinding through a hobby is the lessons learned from our hobbies, they're right under our nose and they can be applied anywhere. This curve that I've illustrated for you today is absolutely unavoidable. Every single human in history has gone through this curve. Every human has setbacks. No one is immune to this curve. So I urge you, please keep going with what it is you're doing. I really hope this brought you some motivation today. I hope eventually you guys get slung forward and you keep grinding through and success comes to you, I really do. Rather than just focusing on the goal, Focus on the little day-by-day -day progress and be grateful for what it's teaching you. Guys, thank you so much for watching my first video. I really, really hope that this video kind of brought you some insight. I really hope it brings you some motivation to keep pursuing what it is you're trying to pursue. Just remember, stay patient. What you want is coming your way. It has before, it has many times before. If you like this video, please click on the subscribe button below. I'm going to be making many more videos like this. Please feel free to comment below on any moments you recently had where you feel like you had a setback and you recently got yourself slung forward. You never know who needs to read these things to kind of get themselves motivated, including myself. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I hope you have an amazing day.